Hey guys, it's Emma. So today I'm going to be doing my CD collection part one. There's gonna be multiple parts to this video because I have a lot of CDs. This was requested by someone, I can't remember who, but I will put their username right here because I very much enjoy it when people request things because I'm not the most creative person in the world and I can't come up with a lot of original ideas. With that said, Let's get started. So the first CD I have is Nothing Personal by All Time Low. And all of these CDs are in alphabetical order because I have them organized in my CD case. So first I have All Time Low, Nothing Personal. It's, I really like this CD. I got this a while back and I remember like most of the songs on it from when I was little. Like, I remember Weightless, Break Your Little Heart, Lost in Stereo, Therapy. I remember these songs from when I was like fetus nine-year-old Emma. So yeah, I really like this CD. So the next CD I have is So Wrong It's Right, also by All Time Low. And this song, this CD is really good. I love this CD so much. Um, it has Dear Maria Count Me In and can we just like Dear Maria Count Me In I think everyone knows that song like if you don't know that song there has to be something wrong with you sorry so that's what the cover art looks like and I bought it used from Newberry so the third CD I have is Don't Panic by All Time Low and this is a copy of a CD Oops, don't judge. Um, my friend made this for me. Just so you guys know, I do have a lot of copies of CDs, but I do plan on buying the actual hard copy of the CD because I don't want bands to be losing money because of me. So, yes, I do copy CDs, but only if people are actually going to buy the CD and they just want to have the music to tie them over until they get it. So, I thought I'd say that. The next CD I have is Apocalyptica. And I really love this cover art. You can't really see it because it's fine. Um, but, um, I got my dad hat. This is my dad's CD, but I kind of stole it from him because it's really good. It's kind of, It's a different genre of music. It's, like, really different. It's original. It's kind of like... It's rock with an orchestra behind it, kind of. If you know the song Phoenix by um, Fall Out Boy, then, and you know how it has like the orchestra in the background, it's kind of like a huge production. That's what every song of a Apocalyptica is, is like, except like just the instrumental part. Some songs are all instrumental on this CD, some songs have voice singing, but it's really good and I love the cover art. The next CD I have is As It Is, This Mind of Mine. It's an EP. If you know the YouTuber Patty Walters, he um, he's the lead singer of this band along with um, another guy, I can't remember his name, I'm sorry. But I bought this CD on iTunes after it made me the copy of the CD, so. You can't yell at me. I actually did buy the music. It's true. The next CD I have is Avenged Sevenfold, and I believe this is a self-titled album. I'm not really a huge fan of Avenged Sevenfold, so I don't know like what the name of this is off the top of my head. Um, it's it's a good CD. And then I have Breaking Benjamin's We Are Not Alone, and. This is what the back looks like. They have their faces on it. This is a really good CD. I like Breaking Benjamin a lot. Um, then we have, then we have It's Classy, Not Classic by Breathe Carolina. And this CD is so fetus Breathe Carolina. Like it's adorable. I, I love it. This CD is so good. Um, I, I really like it. That's basically all I can say. I love Brave Carolina. And the next CD I have is Hello Fascination, also by Brave Carolina. Um, this song, 
I mean, this CD was their, like, like, I'm not trying to say that It's Classy Not Classic didn't matter, but this CD kind of, like, made them sort of famous. It, like, gave them a name, if you know what I mean. And then, if you want to get real, like, this CD gave them fame, talk about Hell is What You Make It. This CD is absolutely amazing. I could listen to this CD every day, all day, and I would never get tired of it. It's awesome. It's one of my favorites. I remember in sixth grade, I would jam hardcore to Blackout, and it was my favorite song, and I didn't even know that Breathe Carolina did it. Like, yep, Breathe Carolina. I, I actually had their album on a free trial of music app and I listened to it and I was like wow this is really weird like scream mellow music like what and I just remember being like this is so weird and I used to make fun of it a lot and I made fun of it so much and I like listened to it so much that I actually started enjoying it which is really like weird I would listen to it ironically and like make fun of it with all my friends and then um, I liked it so that's how that's how this started that's how this started breathe Carolina thank you and then we have the latest breathe Carolina album savages this is an amazing album I love this so much it's it's like they took everything that was great off of Hell is What You Make It and all of their previous records and they just like stepped it up. They like I know David said this at one point. He said we made the dancier part we made the dancey parts dancier and we made the harder parts harder. So if you're looking for a CD that's going to make you jam, then definitely check out Savages by Breathe Carolina because this CD is basically my life. Now on to the next one. We have Suicide Season by Bring Me the Horizon. And yes, this is another copy, but I do plan on buying the actual like CD. Great, great, great band. Love it so much. Good. I also have Some Paternal, but I'm not really sure where it is at the moment, so we're just gonna like ignore that. I love Some Paternal, I just have no clue where it is. And then I have The Cab's Whisper War, and I really like The Cab, they're not my favorite band, but they're good, and I listen to them when I'm feeling more in a poppy mood. Then we have Chevelle La Gargola, and I really like the cover art for this, it's like, um, it's like a plague doctor dressed in a bird mask. It's really, really cool. I like the city. It's good. My dad gave it to me. Well, not gave it to me. My dad bought it and I took it. And I haven't given it back yet because I like it so much. Then we have my bae, my wife, Demi Lovato. Her first album, um, Don't Forget. So good. This was, this was the CD of my childhood. Like, I would hardcore jam to this. Like, Demi Lovato is, mm, she's been my love since, like, second grade. I, I'm kind of obsessed with her. And I'm going to see her in concert for the third time in October. And I hope to bring you guys with me because fabulous. And I'm going with my friend Emily. Shout out to you, Emily. So. Then we have Demi's second album, Here We Go Again. Amazing, amazing. Even though she's still with Disney, Disney did an amazing job with her. Like, it was, Disney's kind of a hit or miss type thing, if you know what I mean. Lately, it's kind of been a miss, but back in the Demi Lovato days, it was a hit. Like, Selena Gomez, meh. Miley Cyrus, meh. Hannah Montana, meh. Demi Lovato, ho! Like, I think Demi Lovato's voice is the most amazing voice I have ever heard in my life. Like, she is an angel sent from sent from the heavens. I love it, Demi. You are my... I love you. Then we have Unbroken by Demi Lovato. Once again. Amazing album. 
This was a great comeback after her troubles. It really shows like the songs like Unbroken, Fix a Heart, For the Love of a Daughter, Love Them. They're like, they kind of show the side of her that hasn't really been shown before this. And yeah, I just think this is a really special album for her. And she's showing her fans that you really can make it through anything and yep. That was a really abrupt stop, but that's all, it, that's all I have to say. And then the last CD for this video, because it's sort of long, is Demi, the self-titled album by, once again, Demi Lovato. And this CD is awesome. Like, I love it. When this came out, I was sort of transitioning from being that girl that loves pop to being that girl who's really into bands. And this CD, like, I don't know about you, but I, I can still like my, my bands and my like hardcore stuff. And Demi Lovato will always will always be with me. Like I love her so much. She oh, can't even deal with it. Like she's perfect. And yep, it's my goal in life to meet her. And that's a lot harder than like meeting a band member because she's like super famous. But It'll happen someday. I will meet her. I looked, okay, rant time. I looked at the meet and greets, like I looked at the meet and greet tickets, like VIP tickets, not really like VIP, but like meet and greet tickets for the um, concert that I'm going to. You won't believe how much they are. <sighs> Let me just say, Breathe Carolina's meet and greet tickets were $20. Maybe even 30. I don't know. But they were 20 or $30. You got to meet them, you got a picture with them, and you got a free shirt, and you got a lanyard. So you got a lot for that, like $30. Like a t like a t-shirt already costs you like 20, so it's not that it's not that much, like, if you think about it. And the Demi Lovato's meet and greet tickets were fifteen hundred dollars. That's ridiculous. Just a little bit. I I don't know. I don't know about you, but I think that's a really, I think that's a little steep. Not even a little. I think that it's really steep. At the most, I think it should be like a hundred dollars. <sighs> I don't get why concerts are so expensive and meet and greets are so expensive, but you know, it's not up to me. If it was, all concerts would be free. So, yep, there's my rant of the day and I think that's it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this CD collection part uno because there will be multiple parts to this. And I will see you next time. Bye!